protesters outside parliament demanding revenge. And for Iran to stop nuclear inspections by the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA. The anger follows the killing of top scientist Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, gunned down by attackers in his car in a suburb in eastern Tehran on Friday. His family speaking on state TV also called for revenge. He was a scientist and at the same time a very kind and affectionate husband who loved his country. I plead to others to continue his path and to not let his blood go in vain. His path was very important for him and his blood was spilled for it. I tell the world's arrogance that if they were afraid of this martyr and this country's progress and if they were worried about progress made by this martyr, you must be scared of his blood a thousand times more. The world's arrogance has to know that by killing people like Fakhrizadeh, this path of progress will not be stopped. President Hassan Rouhani blamed Israel for the assassination of Iran's most senior scientist. The relevant authorities will respond to this crime in a timely and appropriate manner. The Iranian nation is smarter and wiser than falling into the trap of the Zionist conspiracy. The Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei also pledged to retaliation, asking for the perpetrators to be firmly prosecuted and for the work of Fakhrizadeh to continue. Iran has launched an investigation in what is an embarrassing breach of its security. But political factions differ about what the response should be. This latest incident will impact on any plans U.S. President-elect Joe Biden has for talks with Iran on the nuclear deal, known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA, reached in 2015. I think it will make any negotiations on the JCPOA much more complicated, and not just from the American side. I think it's going to be difficult enough for President Biden, but it's further complicated by the reaction in Iran to this killing of one of their most senior scientists. And you have the upcoming elections in Iran in a few months, so it's going to make it even more difficult for the moderates who would like to see uh, a patching up of the JCPOA. For now, the world is watching and waiting to see what Iran will do next. Iran's reformists want to save the 2015 nuclear deal. That means waiting for Joe Biden to take office and hope the US rejoins and lifts sanctions. The Conservatives seem to have run out of patience and want to stop IAEA inspections. Others want a strong response. The country has vowed one, but no one knows where, when or what form that will take. Asad Beg, 